Okay, guys, so I'm at Top Dead Center right now. I don't have any gaskets on it. We're sticking up 1.2 millimeters out of this thing. The gaskets are 1.6 um, total added together. <laughs> so that really doesn't leave you much squish on this. So here's what people keep talking about. And I'm going to show you why you need a spacer in it. Because I keep getting this asked a lot already. We're going down. We're at bottom dead center right now. Yeah, right there. You see that? That's your transfer. It is 80% blocked right now. Okay. So if we had the correct crank on the downstroke, uh, we'd add three millimeters to that going down for the crank. The spacer would bring this jug up three plus 1.6. So that transfer would be 90 five percent open just as is stock okay now let me take you around to this side here's our exhaust port this is the next biggie all right that's it yeah right there okay so that's bottom dead center right there we're, we're missing one third of this exhaust port. Okay. So if that crank was the correct height, which it would be 40 millimeter stroke, we'd add three millimeters that way. The spacer would bring this up three millimeters. Okay. And plus that 1.6 for the gasket. And this would be, uh, I think it comes out in the CAD drawing in a perfect world, 0.7 millimeters um, under the exhaust port at the top. So, alright. Now here's the other thing on the upstroke on these. Because this is all done wrong. Now I want you to see that. That's called cross talk of a port. Right now you would be. Um, the crankcase would be exposed out the exhaust port. Now. I know they don't have the gaskets on a 1.6, but that gap down in there is actually 2.3 millimeters. So even with the gaskets, that would still have an opening, which is really bad and could actually jam that piston too, which is probably another big thing. And here it is. Oh, if I can do this, it's so hard to do all this at once. Here is the intake. All right. So we got three millimeters of that piston basically hanging down in the port. So we're only maybe, I don't know, 70, 80% open on that. So if we were to raise this, up three millimeters plus those gaskets it would probably just line up with the top of that port so that's that spacer slash putting the correct crank in this is really going to make this pretty close to ideal conditions so that's why i'm doing the three millimeter spacer in this okay now, I heard some people say you could drop this and change the ports. That's great, but then you got to start cutting your piston and all that. Uh, I'm not doing that. And then you're not, you got to gouge out those transfers somehow. There's a lot of stuff you'd have to fix. But we are going to do a timing thing of this. I figured I would throw this up so you guys could see. Um, I'm really, hold on one sec. Modeling it after an 80cc build with the 49mm um, iron sleeve, okay? I'm using this as a base, and I'm using this as... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and mirror it, because the port structure of this top half is identical to an iron sleeve 49mm. So, I know I can get those perfect on this. But I also know what's in these and stuff. And this one cannot. 
So, as far as this goes, too, the other thing about this one, um, the crank in this, which I probably should have showed you guys, the, um, in this one, well, we'll do it later, this one has a 39.8 millimeter crank in it. And, I mean, that's as close to 40 millimeters. You can get the red bike has one. It's like 40.2 that I did the uh, ethanol in. But this was going to be an iron sleeve build. I have this coming, a new one of these. And then uh, I had a couple pot amends like that. I took all the Minarellis apart because I'm not using them. They were just going to use the pot amends. But this one's going to be a copy of that by the time we're done. So, got some parts ordered. I figured I'd show you guys this because a lot of people were interested in why I'm doing what I'm doing to this. But that's the short answer without all the crazy timing wheels and stuff yet. But we are going to do that in the next video. And I'm going to show you all the timing of it. All right. <laughs>